Hi guys and girls. So I thought I'd go for a slightly different video. Um, I picked up this botanical collection flower bouquet made by Lego. Um, you can get this on obviously the Lego website. Um, you can get, get it on like Amazon, uh, but I got mine from Argos just because it was slightly cheaper and also I could collect it today. Um, I did see a TikTok <laughs> of someone making this and it just looks so cute and so lovely. Um, and I thought, since we always have like fresh flowers, these ones are slightly past their sell by date. Um, we normally have flowers out, but I thought this could be like a cute little thing to put somewhere or other and... <laughs> and <laughs> um, they won't die <laughs> so that'd be nice um i picked it up today and i thought it could be quite a cute like little video um we're just having sort of like a, a day in today other than going to get this um as you can see it's a lovely rainy day outside this is parsnip this is our new kitten um yeah it's a bit rainy and a bit dull outside we were going to do the greenhouse today as you can see it's partly up but um alas too rainy oh and this is albus he's got really big as you can see he's like full cat size now <laughs> um so yeah just having a <laughs> rude just having a sort of day in just doing a little bit of tidying and cleaning and stuff um but i'm gonna do this this afternoon um i just need to do the washing up and stuff first put the washing on all those exciting things and then i I'm going to make this, but I thought I'd just have a look inside first and then I'll do some little clips of what each of the parts look like to see if, see if I would recommend. Because the TikToks are cute, but there wasn't loads of information. So I think I'm going to need to get some scissors so I can open this box. Yeah. Currently suffering from a um, perforated eardrum, <laughs> which is lovely. Um, so hoping this will just kind of get my mind off of it so these are the different um flowers <laughs> things there are three roses i think they're meant to be um is that meant to be like a peony daisies oh some other bits so those the instructions that's what it should look like in the vase so they look uh, so those are those like separate bits there. So these look like, well actually look at there's a couple of flowers in there. Got these, some bigger parts for the leaves. Oh, stems. I think by the look of it, that will be like the the height of them so that's nearing 30 centimeters 25 that looks like it's roses they look like naughty kittens what else have we got cool connectors The last thing look like more connectors and some random bits. So looks like there's six bags all together, and I think it was 15 stems that it makes. But yeah, not everything in the box. <laughs> so I'm just gonna finish off the few kind of jobs I have left for today. Um, as I said, it's a bit gloomy outside. So I won't be doing any of the stuff in the garden that I plan to do and then I'm going to sit down, relax and just build some flowers and <laughs> do some Lego. Um, it says that there are 756 pieces so I'm not sure how long this is going to take me to do. I haven't done like Lego for a long time but actually like looking at it, it doesn't look like it'd be too complicated but watch me while I eat my hat. I'm just making the uh, the rose part and made the stem. It's got little little thorns, and then it's just to add the leaf. Well, <laughs> if you look at the leaf, I'm pretty sure 
This is the wing of a pterodactyl. Does this or does this not look to you like a pterodactyl wing? I mean, I know Lego are very good at reusing parts, but a pterodactyl wing, really? Okay, so I've been doing these for about an hour and a half now. Um, and these are the first three, um, first three, first five um, stems which were out of one bag, if that makes sense. So you have the roses, <laughs> roses with <laughs> pterodactyl wings. <laughs> I actually love these. <laughs> so um, it's really cool actually, the roses, they came with like two different um, stem types. So there was two curved ones and one straight one and the stems are made out of all these tiny little parts whereas with the daisies it's just one long stem um, and the daisies have this one weird brown bit i'm not really sure what that's all about <laughs> but it's there um so yeah the daisy ones are both like exactly the same and then what i actually ended up doing was taking one off the end of this one so one like little connector and adding it to that one so that that one was taller so that they're all like different heights they're three different heights and these ones obviously go over so you'd have these ones at the front and this one would go sort of in the middle like that so yeah those are the first few it came out the first bag i think there's three bags all together um so i'm gonna leave it there because it's getting late um, I'll do a few more tomorrow, but I really would like to get a va like a glass vase, like this is a pine glass, <laughs> but a glass vase for these to go in because I think they're really cool. Um, and these can all move around, so you can have them like however you like. I just quite like them facing up. Um, and it's the same with like the roses; you can adjust like the petals out a bit if you want to like open them up. Just try and fit gently. you can go for like a more open look if you want to but i do think they look more like realistic when they're slightly more closed but um yeah really cute very easy instructions to follow um it's obviously just pictures the same as normal lego um but yeah dying over these pterodactyl wings i can never now unsee it <laughs> i'm actually gonna look now for a dinosaur lego kit if i can find it I would insert a picture now <laughs> for how else you could use these leaves. I just made these two because it literally took me two seconds. It was just like sawing five bits together. It's fine. Um, and again, I it said to make them the same height using these lovely little adjusters at the bottom, but I've done three on one and two on the other um, just so they're slightly different. Okay, I am going to go to bed now. Come on, kiddies. Time to go. Good morning, um, it's the next day. I didn't have a great sleep because of my eardrum. So I wake up a bit earlier than Mike. Um, it's 8.14, so it's not too bad. Um, we can't go to Sainsbury's until kind of 11, I think it is, it opens. Um, so I'm gonna make another flower. Okay, so I've done those ones. Those ones and those ones. I really like at the beginning, it gives you like a little thing about each flower. And we've already designed it. So I'm currently doing pack two, I've done pack one. So I'm making the Californian poppy now. There's only one of those. The instructions are really clear as you can see. You just have to have the look the bits you need. Looks like it's going to be quite a simple one to make. There you go. That one took literally five minutes. So, <clears throat> there you go. <laughs> Lovely. Done that one. Now I'm going to try this one. This one looks like it's going to be a bit more complicated. 
All right, I'm gonna put them in here <laughs> because my kittens are very interested. So there is the poppy. And then I've just made this one, which took about half an hour. This one is on like a, a curved stem. And then I believe the next one is like the same flower, um, but it's upright. Um, yeah, they said the kittens were very interested and this one was like 101 pieces. <laughs> so I uh, yeah don't exactly want them playing with it. But there we go. This one did have um, eight of those connectors, so I'm gonna see how they sit. Um, and I may make this one a little bit taller, depending on how how it all sits. There we go. Okie dokie, so I've done these green ones, there's three of those, and I've just done this one, which has taken <laughs> me nearly an hour. It's so fiddly. Um, and I just finished and I realised I'd put a bit in upside down so I had to, didn't have to take it all apart but I had to do a bit of surgery. Um, so I'm going to put this one in now rather than leave it on the sofa just because I cannot go through all of that again. <laughs> that was the only one that was really like, it actually like hurt my thumb doing it because it was all these like, tiny little bits. Um, on this one here I added, so there's like these two brown prongs of three so there's six prongs all together on each one with a little flower um there was an additional prong and then there were two leftover purple things so this one i've put three prongs of three so there's nine on this one instead of um six um and i used the two spare purple ones and i had a spare white one from the middle of the roses so i just thought i'd do that i mean just add a little something i might as well use the spare pieces so i'm loving how it's looking at the moment i'm going to try and show you there's one more flower to go in and then obviously i'm not going to keep it in this when i have a proper vase i have to like arrange them and decide like how i want things to sit and stuff um because like the petals on them all do move slightly and like these move out um yeah you can change the angles on most stuff so i'll have a play with it once I've got all of them, but I think I've got one more left to do. Okay, <laughs> after saying that one of these was a spare one, it turns out it's not a spare. Um, I may steal the white one off of her. Okay, so I've just finished the last flower. Again, that one was really fiddly. I think the last, pa it got like progressively more fiddly as it went. Like the last packet was <laughs> definitely the fiddliest. Whereas the roses and the um daisies and the poppy were really easy to do um so i've put them all in at this pint glass at the moment just so you can get an idea of how how they look <laughs> look at those pterodactyl wings um i think they do work really nicely together i like the colors i think it may have looked better if there was like one more of these so i did see um on some of the amazon reviews that a couple of people bought two boxes of them just so that there was like a bit more bulk and i can understand why they did that to be completely honest with you um because i think another like double this would create such an awesome like collection as you can see there's still lots of space in there so you could easily add another pack to it um it's just whether or not you'd want to do it twice but i think it was quite like therapeutic i've done it over the course of well started last night did a couple of hours then i've done a couple of hours this morning so really probably in total it's taken me about four hours um while watching <laughs> the tv to do this so yeah i really like it i just need to find a nice vase for it as i said you can move everything and change the uh positions i do find the roses like to kind of move themselves <laughs> i'm not sure if that's gravity though because those ones are um hunched over the only thing is really you can't see those tiny details of like the thorns and stuff unless you're like looking right in there um someone said that it was super realistic i wouldn't say they were super realistic like oh let me turn my cat from like a distance i don't think it looks like they're real it looks like they're made of lego but i still think they look really cool okay so it is a week or so later um i ended up going and 
buying a second set of the botanical lego um so what you're looking at here is the two sets together um and yeah it was definitely a lot quicker to make it the second time round because it was kind of like muscle memory you just sort of remembered how to do things um and you also knew the ones which were like a lot quicker so when i had like just 10 minutes spare i was making like these ones and these ones because those ones were just so quick to do and i also had like learnt that like these ones were super super fiddly um and they drove me insane <laughs> so um i knew that i needed like a lot of time to do those um i did alter the second lot slightly so with the roses you either had ones that were like straight up or like curved a little bit so well it was like two curved pieces or straight up so i did alter it slightly so that some of them just have like half a curve each so i've kind of got three different positions that the roses could be in i did take some of the leaves off of the roses just because it was getting a little bit full um, and as you can actually see from the bottom here not all of them do touch the bottom of this jug i've just got them in this glass jug at the moment and i know it's not the best ever but um I did have them in the pint glass for ages and it just kept falling over and I tried bigger vases and they were too big. So I will say they're a slightly kind of awkward size to put in a vase that you have to find a really specific vase. So that one um, was kind of the best I could do, but as you can see, not all of them are touching the bottom. Um, but I do think they look really kind of realistic from a distance. Um, the things which I personally, Feel like could have been improved on is the roses these petals keep like falling down like this so i do have to kind of lift them up every couple of days um but that may just be how it's sitting maybe if i put it slightly on a like more diagonal way it would stop doing that these green like long green leaves um i think there were six all together when you have the two packs so three in each pack i believe i've just got four of them in there at the moment um because i feel like they're just a bit too much lego if that makes sense like these are all like really detailed and nice and then you've just got like these big blobs of green um so that's why i end up just throwing away two of them i believe let me just double check yes i've got four of them in there um i love it with the two sets i feel like having the two orange ones and the two like purple and the two of those just works so nicely um perhaps it would have been better if they had done two roses and like an additional one of the other flowers but i think two sets just looks really cool it looks super effective like if i take you away a bit and see it just looks like a lovely like bunch of flowers and of course it's not gonna die i have put it over here in the corner just so that it's less likely to be whacked because they are quite fragile and all it takes is like someone just to <laughs> knock into them and they do fall apart a few moments later put some away in the corner and straight away after filming that the cat decides that's where he wants to sit now oh my goodness me <laughs> you are trouble but it was really fun it did take me quite a few hours um if i was to guess i would say each set took me about four hours so i probably spent about eight hours all together building this but i haven't done lego for so long so obviously anyone who was experienced in it um and has done lots of lego would probably be able to do it a lot quicker than i could but it was really good fun i have looked at the other botanical ranges they do have a bonsai tree, um, which is the same price, but I feel like it just isn't that detailed. And they do also have a bird of paradise one, which is impossible to get hold of. Like I've looked everywhere and it's just, I feel like it may have come out last year or something. Um, but this is still available on Amazon and Argos and it's like pretty easy to get like same day um, or next day delivery. I did also notice while I was on Amazon that they do do a knockoff Lego kit which um, replaces certain parts. So it replaces like the circles here in the middle and a few of these bits um, and the, like the middle part of the poppy. And the reason why there are replacements are because they light up so you can get like these 
fake Lego pieces that slot in exactly to this piece and I will link it down below if you're looking for like a more like exciting thing that lights up. Um, I decided just to leave it how it was, <laughs> but um, I wanted it to look more kind of as realistic as I could. They look awesome and I'm really pleased with them and yeah, it was a good fun little project to do and I think they look super effective. Like they, they kind of go with, with any decor. They also go with chocolate. No. <laughs> but actually having some reds in there could have been nice. Um, but overall I just really like it and it was good fun and I recommend doing them. So um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you do have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. If it's anywhere you are, I hope you're enjoying the shade and I will see you next time. Bye.